fourth section. Moving on to the fifth section. I like this section, it's the exciting chorus section. So it goes like this. Give you a preview. Like that, love this section. Let's break it up into two parts to learn it. So it goes like this. First, um, it's fast, so you have to remember all the notes. So it goes like this, starting with A. So A, B flat, A, G, A, G, A, C, E. Back down to A, B flat, A, G, A, G, A, G, F, E, E. And that's the right hand for this first part. Okay, you see a pattern going on. Uh, we have like a six note pattern that, um, like this A, B flat, A, G, A, G. So the da, 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 that. That's the pattern for you to remember. And then A, C, E. And then once again, a six note pattern goes again. So A, B flat, A, G, A, G. And then changes A, G, F, E, E. Okay, there's a pattern to realize because, yeah, you can hear it in the other section as well. But anyways, let's go ahead and, um, yeah, do the left hand now. So the left hand, really simple. Two D minor chords. D, F, A, so two of them. So, yeah. It's reflecting the chords in the second section of your course, which is two D minors, and then the other part is also two B flat major, same as the second section. But that's uh, we're gonna go through that after this part right now. So this first part of this fifth section goes like this: A and D minor together, and then once again A and D minor together, like that. Okay, one more time. So it goes like this: together, and then together, like that. Moving on to the second and last part of this fifth section, continues, right hand has uh, goes to the C for seven times, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, A, G, A, and once again, seven, uh, actually, let me see, no, this time is um, six C's this time, so one, two, three, four, five, six, and then D, A, G, F, it's slightly different, okay? for that second half of it. So one more time, so remember, first uh, half of it, we have seven C's in a row, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, A, G, A, and then six C's, one, two, three, four, five, six, D, A, G, F, like that. These are patterns for you to remember. Left hand, two chords, just the two B flat major chords, as I said before, B flat, D, F, so two of them. With that in mind, the two hand together goes like this, B flat major starts first, right comes in, B flat major continues by itself, right comes in, like that, and that's the second part. One more time, it goes like this, here, here, and that is that for the fifth section, okay? Yeah, after you get the fifth section there, let's move on to the sixth and last section. This sixth and last section is a little bit harder, it has uh, a lot more changing chords and stuff, but it's, you can see it's reflective of the fifth section just then, so it starts off similar, it goes... the first half pretty similar so once again it goes that six note pattern a b flat a g a g a c e and plus a d and then the six note pattern a b flat a g a g and then a g f e uh let me see e d okay so we're gonna break it up like that first okay so that's the first part okay one more time so it goes like this a b flat a g a g a c e d a b flat a g a g So that's the first part for the right hand, left hand, three chords, firstly starting with two D minor chords, D, F, A twice, and the third chord is B flat major, B flat, D, F. So with these three chords in mind, so D minor twice followed by B flat major, two hands together goes like this, so together, together, second E and B flat major together, like that. Okay, one more time, it goes like this, together, together. Now, moving on to the second part, we're gonna break it up into three parts in total, okay? So the second part continues like this, goes to up to the C, down to G, up to the F, F, E, C, down to G, up to E, F, E, C, G. And that is the second part. One more time, so it goes like this, so C, G, up to F, F, E, C, down to G, up to E, F, E, C, down to G. And that's the right hand, okay? The left hand, we have five chords here, the five chords are 
A minor, which is A, C, E. Second chord, B flat major, B flat, D, F. Third chord passes to D minor, D, F, A. Fourth chord back to B flat major, which you know, B flat, D, F. And the fifth chord is A minor, A, C, E. Yeah, essentially it's actually, you can see a pattern. It's a quite like palindromic. The reason why it's like, it starts, uh, it's like a mirror image of the chord progression. So it's A minor, B flat major, D minor, back to B flat major, and A minor. Can you see that? Yeah, so it's kind of like a music chord palindromic kind of thing. Okay, but anyway, two hands together goes like this for the second part. Right hand starts. G and C, uh, G and A minor together. F and B flat major together. Alpha G D minor by itself. E and B flat major together. Alpha G A minor by itself, like that. Yeah, and that's it. One more time it goes like this. Together, together, here, together, here. And that's it for the second part. Moving on to the third and last part of this sixth and last section it goes like this. Right hand goes up to F, E, C, A, up to F, E, C, A, D. And that's it for the right hand. One more time, it goes like this. F, E, C, A, up F, E, C, A, D. And that's it for the right hand. Simple stuff. Left hand finish off with five chords. Five chords are B flat major, B flat D, F, second chord A minor, A, C, E, third chord B flat major, B flat D, F, fourth chord C major, C, E, G, and fifth chord D minor, D, F, A. These five chords are actually the fastest changing chords in this song. So it just goes like, pretty fast changing, okay? So it goes like this. So it goes together, here, 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 here. See how fast it changes? It's the fastest changing chords. Okay, a lot of passing chords here, finishing off the song epically. Okay, so like this, together, here, 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 here.